innovation something which i i think everybody is extremely passionate about here even over the last four sessions we have had a number of number of questions that have come about it there, there is there are many things that go into uh, into both how do you increase the velocity and the effectiveness and the impact of innovation yeah uh, and here i have gone beyond my rule of 7 or 8 and i actually have 10 points so there is there is clearly a lot you know there is it's a very very big topic i think for me the starting point is continuous innovation yeah and and i and i made this point i think yesterday or day before as well when you we talked about jugar and systematic innovation innovation is a process yeah and you need to have a process for the you know for the small ideas where it kind of gets you know the whole compounding thing if you can keep on making small improvements but you keep on making them you know you get to a very big output so that's the notion of continuous improve innovation and that's a process how do you really kind of surface ideas you how do you implement them in a very diligent fashion and how do you track them yeah the second point for me is that you have to put your money where your mouth is you know it's you know, if you you know saying that you know i want to be innovation driven but you don't really have a budget behind it is not going to work is not going to work yeah so you have to you have to carve out the investment budget yeah and there is a point that came yesterday about you know acquiring company or creating something different i think pamela asked that and maybe even in earlier sessions that had come up yes i think that's a that's a very legitimate way of driving innovation that you set up specialized centers of excellence to do contained experiments contained experiments you're trying something very different and you say okay you know it will be like you know one part of the organization if it blows up it blows up there you know my mothership is not going to get impacted yeah now if it was then there is a challenge how do you take it to the mothership but but you know when you yeah. started you what you guys please be on mute thank you but you know when when you when you're doing it you know you that's what you're trying to do you're trying to protect the mothership build an innovation culture you know end of the day the sustainable thing is is culture and you know and what is it that you measure what is it that you're looking for in a performance management system how do your incentives work yeah tap into the startup ecosystem again that rule number 7 yeah the new rules of business rule number 7 open organization partnerships yeah again you know you may be apple or you may be google or whoever you are nobody can say that you know we know it all yeah so the greatest and the best companies in the world you know have a very very systematic process of how where they are trying to scope out the startup ecosystem continuously and trying to figure out what's happening and how do we partner with them yeah many many large companies have set up in house incubators where they are bringing in startups yeah so that they have first right of of kind of refusal on them or working with incubators or accelerators which are out there yeah serve the domestic market to understand the customer pain points and this is a point quite i made this point from the perspective of the it industry the tech industry that often for innovation for customer experience product type of innovation you need to understand the customer deeply and in some situations while in the digital age it is become become easier to understand customer even globally but in some cases it's not easy and where if you engage with your local market you are able to understand the customer pain points better <laughs> my experience in 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 the mckinsey knowledge center was was certainly that so as we as we progress the mckinsey knowledge center from being this kind of research back office to being the innovation hub for mckinsey the partnership with the local office the india office and the asia practice was actually critical was critical because a lot of the very very futuristic concepts that we were we had begin to kind of conceive of and pilot 
being able to pilot them in the in the domestic market and get quick feedback on it was very very important was very important yeah the the kind of middle point of that is leverage global delivery from a perspective of the global enterprise being able to tap into the talent market and the velocity which global delivery can give is a great way of driving innovation you know we discussed that in the previous section right of global advantage yeah consider acquisitions again similar to the tap into the startup ecosystem point you know in this is kind of taking it forward that you acquire you know you are not able to build that ip you say it's a make versus buy issue the cost for me to build this ip is too high i will buy it yeah invest in learning yeah that and again the building the culture point that you have to in it one of the key elements in that is is the your investment in learning and development yeah in terms of building up the talent capabilities and finally partnering with academic institutions yeah i put it 10 for a reason because in it is it is an option i have seen in more developed markets this playing out very effectively but i must say that at least my experience in the indian market has been less than stellar around this yeah um but but certainly as we now as the indian educational institution also raised their game i think this will become a more relevant lever going going forward yeah